He took the red pill, and now he is already in said to know about the reality of the world. Great. Now I will have to help him get set up for the preparation. Dolfer and Lester, use the powers of those computers to get Murray here a piece of real stuff. And Murray, come close to this broken mirror. Well, it looks like it fixed itself. Maybe I will feel it. This is it, guys. Get those laptops monitoring him with the sensors on the corners. Wait. What's the silver doing? It's crawling around my hand. Keep pressing keys, guys. Hey, Jerry, if you can hear us, press it now. Yay, 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 yay. Wow. <laughs> We found him and rescued him. Let's get him all set up for recovery. Excellent, guys. We found him and now he is with us. Welcome to the real world, Murray. Don't worry, you are going to be okay. Now, Murray. Your muscles have atrophied after being in a state of coma your entire life. You woke up for the first time ever in your life. Ah. Uh, I can't believe this is the real world. Ouch. My eyes really hurt. That's because you have never used them before. We need to get you back into your sleep mode before the doctors come in and remove most of your power sockets. I am happy to finally be awake and refreshed. I seem to have recovered well after all those surgeries to have the sockets removed, but I still have a few scars left. I still have the plug socket on the back of my head, but I guess it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and see the others. Finally. You have woken up refreshed. Let me introduce the name of these people who are with us. You already know Chrissy as your classmate. They are Bilfa, Gotted, Solaria, and Lester. Together, they were all originally plucked into those towers and rescued onto the ship just like you and me. Here come two of the guys that you never met before. They are Terry and Lesson. Terry is the one with the cab and Lesson has the medic. They helped us all get free. By the way Murray, Terry, and Lesson, I may need you three to come with me for now. Well at least Murray never actually got grounded for real. Alright now. Murray, you and I shall sit next to each other. Terry and Lesson get ready for the plugs. Murray, this may feel weird, but it won't actually hurt. Now. I am suddenly back to normal. No more sockets anywhere. No scars either. Also, all of my hair is back. Hi Murray. 
I am glad to know that you are enjoying this program. We are plugged into what we call the Matrix. What is the Matrix? I am excited to know everything now. Actually, it's not as exciting as you think it needs to be. When I found out about the truth of the real world, I was very freaked out. Maybe we should talk. Now Murray, none of this stuff is actually real. It's all a simulation inside of a computer program. This is our secret loading zone where we hack our way back into the Matrix. It's okay. It doesn't have to be real, it just has to be here for us. How about the world? You have known as the real one until six weeks ago. The world of all human civilizations living above the Earth's crust. The cities all having days and nights, and people everywhere. You have known places such as restaurants, factories, airports, parks, schools, houses, and even office rooms. Actually, it only exists now as a simulation created by an entire race of evil AI machines to distract us from the real truth. Unfortunately Murray, this is what the actual real world looks like today. It's a very dark and desolate world with no free humans on the surface. The sky is blotted out. The entire planet is dominated by a race of evil robots and AI machines. It turns out that in 2056, after AI machines became popular for human convenience, one robot got caught in a mechanical accident, and it became an evil robot. It went around attacking humans, and it was also using its evil electric power to turn any other robot evil along with it. Good robots were fighting the evil robots. Unfortunately, the evil robots won after wiping out the entire good robot population. Now the humans had to fight the robots. A war against humans and robots began. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. There's got to be at least one good robot left to help fight the other evil robots. Sadly no. Murray, after the last good robot was turned evil and started attacking humans, there was never another good robot ever again. The humans didn't give up yet. It was known that the robots relied on solar power to work. The humans decided to block out the sky using special gas clouds from other planets. It was thought that the machines would be unable to survive with the sky blocked out. However one robot actually made a discovery while managing to capture another human. It turns out that the human body's nervous system along with the heat from the muscular system are able to generate more electricity than an 18 volt battery. After the robot actually managed to suck the electricity from the human's body heat, a new program got automatically built into itself. It was to collect body heat from humans. The robot had all of the electricity they would ever need right in front of them the whole time. Afterwards, they started rapidly capturing humans and using them for power. There is a gigantic field at least 200 miles big. In that field, humans are no longer born. They are grown. Just like plants in a farm field. For the longest time, I couldn't believe it, even after I saw the fields with my own eyes. I saw them take the dead humans, turn them into liquid, and feed them to the living ones. I was terrified when I learned about the truth. I know Murray. It's very scary. But don't worry. Humanity hasn't been defeated just yet. Alright then. About the Matrix. It's a computer generated dream world. Built by robots to keep humans under control in order to have people be used as batteries. I can't believe it's possible. I never said it would be easy. I feel too scared now. I want to get out right now. Whoa. I don't think Murray was ready for this yet. Maybe he needs some more resting time. I agree. Let's get him back to his room and let's make sure he has plenty of comfort until he is ready for more information.